Now I want to talk about how Zack Knight clones the internet. Um, first of all, Satan invented the computer, but Zack takes credit for it as the Antichrist. This is what he does. Terrence Jenkins explained it to me, which is really, really complicated. I'll read what Terrence wrote. It's like, uh. He says, the phase amplifier is regulated by the L-type phase discriminator to rectify the half-wave rectifier signal, which is passed through the PCI bus. The resulting superposition is passed over a quadrature phase shift keyer that is powered by the deflector array. And I heard that. I said, what does that mean, Terrance? Terrance has got a bachelor's degree in chemistry, I can tell. <laughs> uh, I said, can you put that in simpler language? Let me tell you, I'm a writer. He's not. So I'm going to see if I can rewrite this so it's a little more understandable. Here's what I think he was trying to say. Okay. The L5, LL type phase discriminator regulates the phase amplifier to rectify the half-wave rectifier signal. The function of the half-wave rectifier signal is to maintain stability and quantum cohesion. Quantum cohesion is real critical because if you lose stability, you could open up a wormhole to an arbitrary point in space-time. The half-wave rectifier signal then is passed through the PCI bus, which carries out all the functions of the internet creating a superposition or like a hologram. This hologram or superposition is then passed over a quadrature phase shift keyer, keyer which regulates how the signals for the internet go out. Zach powers the quadrature phase shift keyer with the deflector array or a deflector dish in space that collects and intensifies energy and boosts it to the quadrature phase shift keyer. In simplest terms, Zach uses an L-type phase dis dis discriminator to modify a signal, which he uses to cause his cloned versions of the Internet to stay sa stable. This signal is then passed through the PCI bus where the cloned versions are created because the PCI bus is like the networking headquarters for the Internet. When the cloned versions from the PCI bus go through the quadrature phase shift keyer. The quadrature phase shift keyer regulates among the various clone versions determining how and where they all go. So Zach, and then Zach uses a deflector array or deflector dish in space that collects and intensifies the power source for the dish, bringing this power from the dish to the quadrature phase shift keyer. Now I realize I probably lost 90% of my audience here, but you physicists and computer scientists out there, the reason I state this is please, if, if after listening to my presentation, and I told you how Zach clones the Internet, if you can help us find a way to, to defeat his ability to clone the Internet, which makes it so that he can control, you know, like I could publish a book and he can cut all, cause all the proceeds to go to Jesuit banks using the clone versions of the Internet. If you can find a way to defeat this, also, when I make YouTube videos, the views you see on there, that's not accurate. You're viewing a clone version of the Internet. You're not viewing an accurate version. It's the version Zack Knight wants you to see, which is why he can blast all his lies about Lori being married to Brandt or, or Camilla married to Matthew because he's using clone versions of the Internet. So please, anybody out there, any scientists, go to gailcordschuler at gmail.com if you can help us find a way to defeat Zack's ability to clone the Internet. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.